Okay, so here is the new QuickBooks Pro 2013 home page. Now, as you can see, it's quite different from the 2012 and previous versions home page. And here is 2012. Now, the icon bar in 2012 and previous versions is at the top. However, in 2013, is to the left. Now, that is the default option. You can change the location of the icon bar if you choose to. And you can simply click on View and then select Top Icon Bar. Now, I do want to make one observation, which is if you leave it on the left, you will not have this information here under Account Balances uh, on the left side. So I'm going to click on View once again and click on Top Icon Bar, and you'll see to the right, you'll have the account balances for each of your accounts, um, most notably your, your asset accounts. However, if you leave the icon bar on the left, you will not have that information readily available. So that is one drawback to leaving the icon bar on the left side of the screen. Another drawback to QuickBooks Pro 2013 is that in previous versions, you were able to change your color scheme. So you wouldn't be stuck with just one color scheme on your home page. Uh, this is 2012, and as you can see, there are many options to choose from. However, in 2013, if I click on Edit and go to Preferences and select Desktop View, you'll see that there are no options for the color scheme. So you are stuck with this one color scheme on QuickBooks home page. And one final upgrade is that the invoices and bill payments, etc., the fonts are a little bit bigger for you to see. The columns and rows are also a little bit bigger for you to see. Um, in previous versions, they're quite small, as you can see here. So I'll be doing more videos on QuickBooks Pro 2013 later. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please email me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.